Deborah Brown and her family have lived here in the slum of Slibri, in the heart of Monrovia, in the single bedroom since 2008. Like many others in this community, the room that Deborah, her husband, and two kids, Eric and Zota, 16 and 9 respectively live in, does not have a toilet and a bathroom. At the time of our visit, Mr. Brown had left for work while Zota went to school. Eric was with his mom. Slavery is home to some of Liberia's poor people and has a single functioning public toilet at the moment, which is about 15 minutes away from Deborah's room, but is in a bad state, thus causing Deborah to pay a fee of 25 Liberian dollars to use a nearby commercial toilet built with wood and zinc on the Mercy Road Railroad. I feel very, very bad. For all the years, no power, no toilet. You know, it's like, even in the net, you change. You force the crew to the river. You know, it's like. Deborah claims she contracted a sickness one day while using the toilet. As I explain, as I ishi, you know, some funny, funny sound. You honor your stomach and never thing. Can feel that pain. I explained that one. I even went to the hospital. I explained it to my husband. He take me to the hospital and then I went on a treatment. What did the doctor say to you? The doctor said I have infection. Deborah's claims have not been medically authenticated. Water Aid Liberia Country Director Chuchu Sherman says the situation in slavery mirrors a national problem. To Elijah is then you can see the situation that people living within slavery. Uh, similar situations are uh, in other slum communities around Morovia and even beyond Morovia to other congested uh, areas in Monserrado County and even beyond Monserrado County in the very rural parts of Liberia people are faced with deplorable water and sanitation um, situation. In September 2015, Liberia committed itself to the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs of the United Nations, which seeks to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that its citizens enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. Goal 6 of the SDGs seeks to ensure the availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. But Mr. Simon doubts that we will can meet those targets under the current circumstances. Um. It's difficult for anybody to convince me that within the next uh, 10 or 11 years, looking at the trend and history of progress we've made with sanitation over the years, how can I be convinced that um, we will get there with more than 80% um, you know, uh, of our population lacking access to sanitation? How could we easily, or even if we don't want to say easily, how could we be able to meet and reach the targets that are set within the Sustainable Development Goals uh, framework. Simon's doubts are confirmed by a report by the General Auditing Commission GAC released in May this year, which found that there was no plan for stakeholders at every level to effectively and systematically implement the SDGs. Bobby Whitfield, Chairman of the Watch Commission, admits the government has to work harder to meet the targets of the SDGs, especially those laid down in Goal 6. Open defecation is a major, major challenge for this country. About 42 percent of our people across this nation are practicing open defecation. This is really bad for the development and growth of our nation. If we're going to get this, you know, development agenda right, we have to tackle it hands on. And this calls for every hands on die. Every Liberian should be involved in any open defecation. The government's first step is to develop, you know, or the roadmap to any open defecation. Mr. Wilfield says the roadmap will seek to end open defecation in five years. But are there any immediate plans for slavery and other communities practicing open defecation? A couple of months ago, the government and UNICEF signed off on the national work plan for UNICEF, the WASH component of the UNICEF work plan, the annual work plan. And in that plan, there are plans for about 40,000 residents within that belt, the um, West Point and, and, and Slaveway belt, to benefit from the, the construction of a number of public toilets.
but Mr. Wayfield did not say when the plans will be rolled out. Deborah wants the Liberian government to treat wash issues in slavery and other communities with urgency. It remains to be seen whether the government's promise of tackling open defecation will become a reality anytime soon and made growing fears of a possible disease outbreak in slavery and other communities involved in the practice. Anthony Stevens, Power News and Now, Morovia.